Welcome back, good people. Um, it's a chill day. I'm actually on a Zoom call right now, listening to it. Uh, but I gotta do some shopping, so let's go do that. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, I know, I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up, yeah. A lot of progression in my life so and they're younger ones now so they asked me like advice for things and one of that was about money and like how I've grown my money and some of it is just a lot of it I think is just natural right like natural progression of my career um, but I did tell them that you have to be ambitious if I wasn't ambitious I would stay in the jobs that I'm in making the money I'm making um, but it does take ambition to want to do something different, you know, to reach for something regardless of where you are. So if you want to change your circumstance, you got to hang on to your ambition. All right. Because yeah, even now, I am, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm, I like what I'm doing, but I'm not so comfortable that I would take something else if it met a goal. Yeah. Yeah. Precisely. You know, the young lady, I helped get the job. I emailed her yesterday, and I told her in the end, I said, "Well, I'm sorry I can't help you with your courses, but if it don't work out, um, you can talk to me about giving me enough business that I can start my own business." Mm -hmm. And because they have enough courses to pay me a million dollars. Oh, Dad. Yeah, that, that's how many courses they have that they need done. Oh, damn. Yeah, so... And they got it. And so, yeah, so I'm like, you know, I would consider starting a business with that because that'll give me a good foundation in terms of hiring people and then getting other business while I'm using that foundation. Mm -hmm. It's a very solid foundation. <laughs> <laughs> it is to be locked into that much money to start. Right, like... Most people cannot a dream of that. All right, guys, I'm back from running my errands. I went to Target, Anthropology, and Ulta, Sephora. Yeah, and I specifically went to Perimeter Mall um, because all, like a lot of those stores are in one cluster. Uh, in Atlanta, if you don't know, you should not go to Lenox. <laughs> um, if you visit here, don't go to Lenox Mall, don't go to Phipps Mall, go anywhere else. Uh, so. In anthropology, I went for candles. <laughs> uh, it's time for, you know, the warmer scents. And I went specifically for a candle that I've talked about before and, it, and I ended up with more. Uh, from Sephora, I went for a cream blush because I needed a cream blush. And um, at Target, I went for some like work from home clothes as well as I really wanted like a, a satin night gown. And I also went to see if I wanted to buy any nail polish, but I decided to just use the nail polish I have. Um, and I'll just buy nail polish if I run out. I also was gonna get spray sunscreen, but they didn't have it. So I just got more um, black girl sunscreen that like the, the one for like outside because I will be poolside this weekend. So some of this will be in products I'm using all summer video, which I think comes after this. So I'm not gonna show you that stuff, but I will show you um, this fun hair I got. And I bought it specifically for all of my mixed 
large summer drinks. Like I like to do tequila lemonade, right? And just when I'm hanging out with people, um, I like to have an option. Where's the top? I've seen this at Anthropology several times and every time I'm like, no, that's a lot of money. But this time I decided I needed it. Do you see this, Carif? Perfect for like mimosas or bellinis or tequila lemonade. All the things that me and my friends drink this time of year. It was 38 US dollars, which to me is a lot, but it's in line with the rest of my carafs, like my my um, decanters, I should say. This is a carafe, but with my decanters. So, and the quality is really good. And I made sure they had one of these that had like a nice size crack here, which is a look, but I didn't want that look. So this is my new carafe and I'm so happy. And then from Target, I got some clothes that I'm going to share in products I'm wearing all summer, but this is not part of it. This is a nightgown, slip dress, kind of nightgown, satin nightgown. And I'd been wanting this. I looked at Kohl's and some other places now that it's warm. Um, I wanted this for the obvious reasons. Uh, but the other thing I got from Target, I will share in a, that video because it's for that video. Um, but I just ate lunch. Well, not just. I ate lunch. I talked to my dad for a whole hour. And then I talked to my sister for like 30 minutes. And now it's like 5 o'clock. <laughs> Such not a work day. So not a work day, not such. Um, but tomorrow I'll be working and I'll work hard and long probably. So not much will happen tomorrow. I'll pick you guys up tomorrow, um, probably once, maybe twice. But for now, I'm gonna eat this peach. Georgia peach this season is beautiful and I've been having a peach for like post lunch snack. This week I meal prepped an orzo um, kind of meat, chicken orzo meal prep. Um, I will put a link to the recipe. It's from this YouTuber. Um, his YouTube channel is called Healthy Kitchen. It's a black chef from the Caribbean who lives in Canada, I believe. And he, he very rarely makes videos, but he makes some amazing recipes. So I made one of his. And then for dinner, that recipe that I put in my last Rajanti Diaries, I'm actually going to do it again tonight, but tweak it and I'll share that recipe with you guys tonight. So for now, I'm gonna relax. Um, I want to relax. And then I'll be back to share that recipe. All right guys, let's cook. So I preheated my oven to 400 degrees and let's get this party started. So I bought two types of tomatoes. I used great tomatoes last time. I prefer cherry tomatoes. They're not in season right now, or not season, they're just not available right now. So I got some San Marzano, or Vill Villaggio Marzano, and this blend from Wild Wonders. Not sure what kind of tomatoes these are, but these size tomatoes is what I'm going for, okay? So I'm gonna throw these in here, add some oil. This is grapeseed oil salt, pepper, and, ooh, my phone just dinked, ding, sorry. Um, Italian seasoning, garlic, and like mix it around till everything's covered, and I'll throw it in the oven for 20 minutes. All right, so I have a nice sized piece of cod, and I'm gonna go ahead and marinate that while the tomatoes cook. I froze my cod in water because it keeps it from getting frostbite. Uh, and it just it remains as fresh as it was when you bought it. So I'm going to marinate this in Thai red curry paste. So I'm just going to take a bit of curry paste and rub it on each side of the fish. I don't actually want to. There we go. My hands are going to smell like fish, but I'll deal with that. It just takes like a little bit of lemon juice and some soap. <laughs> and it, the, that is gone. Like I said, I'm gonna put it on both sides and this will marinate until I'm ready to cook it. I'm also going to make some rice, but I'm going to cook it in coconut milk and water so it has a coconutty flavor. When I buy a can of coconut milk, I use what I'm gonna use and then I freeze the rest. So this is frozen. I'm just gonna take like a bit of it off, like you can break it off and thaw it and put this back in the freezer. That way, as a single person, I don't waste coconut milk ever, and I always have it too.
focus on me. Hey, can you focus? There we go. All right, so it's a, the tomatoes have been cooking. There are about 10 minutes left on the timer. I put them in for another 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add salt and pepper to this and cook this up about four minutes on each side. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a bit of salt and pepper to each side and then just cook this on probably like medium high on the stove um, for four minutes on each side. My rice is done. I'm gonna add a bit of salt and pepper and stir it up and half of this I'll eat tonight and half I'll eat another day. And here's the finished dish. I've got the rice with the coconutty flavor. I've got the fish with a red curry sauce, Thai red curry sauce, and then just perfectly roasted tomatoes. They are just like mushy. And they kind of taste like a tomato sauce basically, um, but really well spiced and like herbs and stuff. Um, the garlic actually is not quite done and I could wait and just like mix it in with the tomatoes, but I cooked more like extra tomatoes. Um, because I want to put this on bread later, like another day. So I'm not, <laughs> but that's an option. So let's taste. Fish is good. Get a bit of the rice. Get a bit of the tomato. <laughs> mm. Mm. Such a good bite. Mm. I like that. The fish, I kind of let it go a little long because I was doing too much, but mm, I'd make this again. The Thai curry paste is the trick. I'll leave my inspiration below that recipe, but yeah, that's it. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna keep doing this and perfecting it over time. See you tomorrow. I'm all sweaty because I just finished my workout. Fourth one of the week, proud of me. Um, on day 29 of Project Comeback, this is when I started four days a week, today is 33. I'm so proud of me, haven't given up on myself, can never do that. I'm gonna make it to at least day 45 for the next three weeks. I'm gonna do this same workout split. So on Monday, I did full body with weights, Tuesday, upper body with weights, took a rest on Wednesday, Thursday, lower body with weights, and Friday, today, full body, body weight workout. And I'm proud of me, because today I did not want to do it. Uh, I have a 10 a.m. meeting, it is 9.02, and I just didn't want to do it. I made excuses, and then I was like, nope, you gotta exercise, you got to, so I'm proud of me. Just, yeah, I, I'm coming back. The food isn't quite where I want it to be yet, but I'm giving myself these 45 days, right? I have been meal prepping, I've been eating consciously, though I've been eating more sweets than I should and drinking more than, well not should, and drinking more than I plan to, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. But for now, I'm proud of meat. Um, I'm just gonna go home, it's a work day. I've got a meeting, like I said, at 10. I've got a wax appointment later. I just gotta get a lot done. But I'm proud of me for this. Project Comeback is still going. This is the energy I'm keeping. I'm doing the same workouts for the next three weeks. I made a playlist, it's private, but I'll share it. And it has all four workouts, they're free on YouTube and includes two of the recipes that I've done for this week, the meal prep and the fish recipe last night. So I figure I'll share it. I'll put it in the, uh, the description box. But now I'm gonna go home. See you guys later. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a work day, it's a chill day. So you might not see me much today. <laughs> Do I look crazy? <laughs> I have been working, working. I did get my wax, guys. I, I did do that. Um, and I have been working since I got back from the wax and it's now 7 p.m. So it's time that I stop. I will keep working. I was supposed to go to the movies at 4.30. Well, the movie was at 4.30 with my nephew. I was gonna take him. He, wanted to, he wants to see the new Top Gun movie, but he's sick. Uh, and I didn't know until I called him. <laughs> like hey we still down he was like I'm sick you can go without me and I'm like I ain't gonna do that to you um, so I canceled that movie and I rescheduled for the new Jurassic World movie I think it's called like Dominion or something 
It's at 8.45, because I just needed something mindless and I wasn't gonna call a bunch of people or anyone. Um, I do not mind hanging by myself. So I'm just gonna relax until I see the movie at 8.45, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. My hair looks crazy because I just took it down because I was like, you haven't taken your hair down today. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna restyle it tomorrow. I need to film a reel anyway, so I'm just gonna restyle it tomorrow, do something very different, because I'm gonna be poolside Sunday. It just it just makes sense to do something different, so plus I got. Anyways, see y'all tomorrow with a review of a movie that you didn't ask for a review of. <laughs> Good morning, good people. So I just finished shopping at Trader Joe's for groceries for the week. I spent $53.97. I usually end up getting like a veggie or something towards the end of the week. Um, but as you guys know, like I go out like a couple times a week at night. Um, I'll be poolside today, so I'll be some grilling. So I might um, like very more than likely have some leftovers for dinner tomorrow. And so this is mostly breakfast and lunch and then like I buy a few veggies for dinner. So I bought squash, um, broccoli, and some tomatoes again because I really am enjoying the roasted tomatoes with garlic, which I didn't get any garlic. That was a mistake. <laughs> I gotta get a head of garlic at some point. Um, I'll do that when I'm ready to do that. But they had yellow mums. <laughs> Aren't these cute? Super cute. All right, now I wanna to go to the plant nursery. It's Sunday, I don't remember when it opens on Sunday. So I'm going to check that out right now. <gasps> it's open, so I'm going to the plant nursery. I need to get a moss pole, see you there. I wanna treat this like a topiary. <laughs> but is it circular? Oh, it's really cute. I don't need any. I like to come over here to get ideas for like holders for my plants, but they're extortionately priced here, so I don't buy them here, but you know, little plant stands. I'm thinking of a plant stand like this, in my living room, but here it'll be like $400, three, $400. On Amazon, it'll be like 100, 150. I like that one. But not for 350. Cute part of the store though. Lots of like plants. <laughs> I have y'all propped up in my closet. I need to put together a pool bag. And up here is where like all the miscellaneous bags are. Definitely need one of these hats. Because it is already like 80 degrees and it's so not late. It's like 11 something. I did my hair like that so that I could put on a hat. This one. I love this one. Or this one. I'm wearing either a yellow bathing suit or a black, white, and uh, red bathing suit. I'm going to go with the other one today. And where are my pool bags? <laughs> they could be in here. I'll just put a bunch of bags in here. Can you guys see this? I don't know. Here's my running stuff. Uh, and extra bags. My pool bag is plastic. Y'all know? <gasps> Ooh. I didn't know I had a long cord like that. It could also be under my bed. I have so many like random bags. Okay. My steamer's up here. I always just pull it down. Camelback. I don't think it's up here, which is annoying. Put a bunch of bags. 
Okay. Much less a beach towel. Guys, I don't... I don't have a beach towel. <laughs> Gotta figure that out, too. Alright. What I'm going to do is check my other closets. <laughs> but at least I know where my hat is. Progress. Y'all, I had to pause and get some corn. Y'all are gonna hear the air conditioning because it is already 86 degrees. It is gonna be blazing today. Um, but that just means it's gonna rain soon, too. But um, I had to get some corn because I forgot to get corn. Uh, so I also went to the bookstore. <laughs> Does it equate? Doesn't matter. I meant to buy this book at the end of, the, of May. It came out May 31st. And now is the perfect time to read it, like poolside. So I got the gilded ones by naima forna i mean the merciless one sorry it's the second book in the trilogy i read the gilded ones last year this is on my list for this year um of um what is it anticipated reads first one was really really good i love the world building this is ya i don't read a lot of ya but in the fantasy realm i think ya tends to do it really well so yeah I'm really looking forward to this. This cover is just as beautiful as the first one. Do you see that? Oh, this is gonna be beautiful on my shelf. Um, but yeah, this was just a Barnes and Noble pit stop that wasn't planned. So now I'm gonna go back and then go to the pool. <laughs> going on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Just this part. <laughs> Happy Monday, good people. Um, it is 12.25. I started off very slow today, but I have been working so far. And I have two meetings today, one at two o'clock and one at three o'clock. So I'm eating my leftovers from the grill from yesterday. This chicken is so good. It was marinated, not marinated, brined and stuff. It's so good. Um, but I, I spent all day away <laughs> um, at the pool, grilling, etc. So I just didn't do any of the meal prep or anything I would typically do. So I'm going to do that tonight. I'll meal prep and eat that for dinner and then eat it for the next four days for lunch as well. So I'll show you guys that in a bit. Um, I am feeling so drained. I didn't drink like so much that I should feel this way. Um, so, I mean, I also coughed a few times in the middle of the night. So there are two options. I could either be getting sick, which is fine. I haven't been sick in a while now. Or it's my period, which I hope it's not my period um, for various medical reasons. So with, I'll see, y'all won't see, but I'll see which one it is. Um, but for now, I'm trying to honor that I did not go to the gym because I'm just so low on energy and I just feel drained, but I, and I need to focus my energy on work. So I'm about to eat this food and then I will get ready for these Zoom meetings, make myself look presentable. Um, and then I'll be back on here for dinner stuff um, and meal prep. It's gonna happen either way. But yeah, this is weird, this feeling. I did sleep, so hopefully it's just me being sick, which I know sounds weird for people, but hopefully that's what it is. Oh, and I didn't show you guys, when I got waxed, um, since I travel a lot, I went ahead and grabbed a few things, um, and it's travel goodies. I had a $10 credit, um, so I was like, let me go ahead and get these things, and they had $2 off. So I paid like $2 and change for one thing and $6 for another. And they gave me this sample of the slow polish, body polish with hair growth minimizer. Um, so that's cool. I could just use that in like a, a night trip, you know. But for travel, I got the hair growth serum that I like. I've shared about this. Ingrown hair, hair serum, it's not hair growth. So you just put this on your bikini area um, every night basically to prevent ingrowns and then traveling I got the body wash so it's the same thing basically um, and so I have a, a good body wash while I'm traveling for ingrowns as well because I just want to avoid those I have a good wax person so 
she does a good job, but I, I follow the instructions <laughs> so that I don't get a bunch of ingrowns as well. And that's it. I, I know I seem low energy. I am low energy and I have stuff to do. So I'm going to save my energy. Hopefully eating this food helps me boost up a little. And unfortunately, I was supposed to go to the movies with my nephew tonight, but I need to, I need to push that because if I am sick, I don't want to get other people sick. So that's it for now. Talk to you later. All right, guys, I'm about to meal prep. It's like 4 p.m. No, 5 p.m. I have done a lot of work for today. I do intend to do one more thing. I just got to like read over one more thing and then email it to someone. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get my meal prep started because this is also dinner. So I brought out my basket of produce and a whole chicken because I decided to do like a really simple meal prep. Um, I did create that playlist that I talked about and it has both of the recipe videos for last week and this week for my meal prep. So check that link below. It's unlisted so it's not like, yeah, you just gotta click the link below. So I have whole chicken. I'm letting it sit for a moment, let it come up to temperature, but I'm going to season it and add it to the oven at 400 degrees and that'll cook for like 50 minutes. I'm going to spatch um, cut it so it's spatch cocked to make sure that it cooks evenly. Um, under the chicken, I'm going to cook sweet potatoes. So I got a bag of sweet potatoes. It's like two bucks for this bag of sweet potatoes at Trader Joe's. And the beauty of it is that these sweet potatoes are generally the right portion size. These ones are usually two portions and these ones are usually one. So um, I'll actually... <laughs> this is random. I came home with these yesterday from where it was, but um, these I bought <laughs> early in the morning. So I'm going to cook those. I have some broccoli and squash that I'm going to roast as well. And that will be my meal prep. So I'm going to do all that and also be my dinner for tonight. All right. You know, still not feeling the greatest but I took a rapid test and I do not have the big you know thing that's been happening for the last couple years so that's good so put this back in my pantry and I'll get started I gotta wash all the tomatoes first so potatoes not tomatoes potatoes first that would mess with my mind oh, but I won't but I won't put the blame on me you're the one you're the one to the one to see yeah cause you can't handle emotions oh. stupid easy meal prep um it took i don't know it took less than 30 minutes to prep and it cooked for 15 minutes and then the broccoli and the squash i put in for another 30 minutes all at 400 degrees so though you know it took a while to cook it took no time for me to prep so for dinner tonight i'm having chicken this is parts of the thigh parts of the breast and the skin with sweet potato and broccoli and then I have four containers of meal prep here and it has either the leg and a wing or just a thigh with a sweet potato and either squash or broccoli. I'm just going to eat that for the next four days. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, it's more like a beginner meal prep, but it's like seriously flavorful. If I'm going to do just chicken, I'd rather have skin on. I'd rather have put a lot of flavor into it um, and the portion size is, is good too. And then the breasts I am going to use to make chicken salad, which I will freeze to eat next week um, for my meal, 
my my lunches so this was like a three to four pound bird which is a lot for one person right and so when i do that i always plan to use the breasts for a chicken salad they're so juicy when you cook them this way and just absolutely mm, delicious and they don't get dried out i like spatch cooking whole chickens at least you know whether i'm using cast iron skillet or whatever when you cut down the breastbone it cooks a lot more evenly and because i did 50 minutes at 400 whereas when you don't do that a lot of the times either the thighs will be underdone or something will be underdone and i am with that ish i want it all to be done in 50 minutes there are different ways i spatch cook a chicken but this is one of them that's just fail proof so i'm going to shred this and make a salad but first i'm going to eat <laughs> okay so i shredded the breast and i took the pan drippings and just tossed the chicken in the pan drippings because that's where all the flavor is there was fat from the chicken butter um so i don't really need i tasted it <laughs> and i tasted it so i pulled out a few spices as a result so i'm gonna add some celery seed and some onion powder so this is just me creating the base for chicken salad that I'm, and I'm gonna freeze this for next week. When I do go in to actually make the chicken salad, I'm going to make it two ways. One more classically Southern with just some egg, maybe relish um, and celery and onion, right? Like actual celery and onion. And then the second one I'll do more fruit based with still the celery and onion, but with probably some apple and cranberry, dried cranberry. And that'll be the two ways that I make it next week. Um, but this is just gonna flavor the chicken. I thought about going the whole way and freezing it, but no. I'm just gonna flavor the chicken well and freeze it. And next week it'll be like the easiest meal prep because I'll just do chicken salad cups for the week um with probably some chips and yeah already just like super simple meal prep that's gonna take me into two weeks which is just it's clutch that's why i like the whole whole chicken meal prep and even though whole chickens cost a lot if i'm getting you know five to ten meals with it that's okay this is this chicken was only like seven and change from trader joe's but trader joe's also has 16 dollars chickens i just went cheap but yeah just the basic meal prep that some people hate where i'm eating the same thing every day i'm cool with that and then this one i can make two different types of chicken salad it's just easy i like that y'all see that sweat <laughs> oh let me turn it away i went to the gym i was feeling better this morning and i was like uh, i don't really want to go to the gym so i procrastinated for a while uh not really procrastinated do i procrastinate guys <laughs> only in my mind um i did some i i just looked through a contract and signed it online like i i didn't procrastinate i did some things just i avoided the gym and then i was like no you feel better this is only week two of your four day split you you can't you can't do this and so I went to the gym and I got my workout in and I feel good for it. I feel better about it. Oh, and I was telling you guys, like, I spent, I think, 50 odd dollars, right? Right? At the grocery store. But I was like, during the week, I ended up getting odd things. Yeah. I forgot to get any spinach for my smoothie. So I got a box of spinach and I ran out of creamer. So I got a bit of more oat milk creamer i go between brands because i don't always see the one that i like the most uh, but i got some creamer for my my, my latte super important um so now i can make some breakfast <laughs> and um and just have I, smoothies and nuts like i ain't messing with a good thing and um that's it today i am mostly going to create content um, I am going to do a bit of work, but I'm mostly going to create content. So we're going to end this video here. Um, I thought about doing some Taco Tuesday out with my friends, but it's humid.
and it's already 85 degrees. So I don't plan to leave the house again. <laughs> so that's that on that for today. <laughs> I have some lemonade from Chick-fil-A, so I'm definitely gonna make some tequila lemonade and make tacos here at home. And otherwise, just try to have a great week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's not especially prolific. It's more, this is my real life than anything else. Um, the next vlog, we'll see. We'll see what you guys want to see. We'll see what I'm doing in life. Otherwise, I hope you guys are thriving in these hot months, despite inflation and everything. I hope you're finding a way to, you know, go beyond your own expectation to at least find joy and enjoy these warm months. So if you enjoyed this video, check out my last vlog here. Um, I, I shared a lot in that vlog. It was a long vlog, including uh, the whole Project Comeback concept. Um, and if you want to see me just chat about some things, then check out this video here. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. Bye!